Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about my vlogging setup in particular and also the helmet I use. So this is not going to be a complete helmet review but I'm going to talk about the vlogging gear that I use here, specifically on the helmet. And I'm also going to tell you why I'm about to change it. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is the first of my little sort of gear review type videos guys, so it's quite a good intro I guess to talk about the vlogging equipment that I use here. Now the helmet that I have here is a Nolan N72X and this helmet in its own right is it's quite a unique lid I guess you could call it, it's probably the most versatile helmet that you can buy. But it deserves its own full review so when I change the vlogging setup on this helmet which I'm about to do pretty soon. I'll do a full review of this helmet. Now the beauty of this helmet is it's quite unique in that you can actually fully remove the chin guard. It's PJ homologated, it's EU rated as safe as both a protective full face and a jet helmet. Now the good thing about that is it allows me to show you just exactly how I've set this up, this little vlogging setup. So if we look at the actual chin skirt itself, you can see how heavy it is, it's really quite thick. It's got these metal clips and stuff that hold it onto the helmet. And these metal um, sort of release mounts. Anyway, if we look at this here, this is a really cheap solution. I bought this on, I think it was Amazon actually. This was about £10, I want to say, maybe, maybe even less than that. So what's that, eight US dollars maybe? Now there's pros and cons to this. It's got these straps here, yeah? Now, the negative of that is the visor doesn't fully close if you need it to or if you want it to yeah now, as it stands at the moment I don't really mind that the visor doesn't close all the way yeah I don't mind a little bit of extra air coming in through that visor might be an issue for you of course it's not going to be an issue when I replace this system and put something different on there I've got a pin lock system on the visor but to be honest a little bit of air never does any harm when you're riding the positive of this is the straps actually help to hold this stuff in place yeah, I've got a little windsock with the mic tucked in here and I've got the cables wrapped up under here. If you look closely at this though, I actually shaved this down. I took a little Stanley knife to this and I sanded it off a little bit. And that was just to allow the GoPro to sit back against the helmet. Because what you find with the Nolan is, and you'll find this with any, any helmet setup, whatever your setup is, you're going to need to butcher it and mess about with it. Yeah. But the Nolan sits at quite an angle. Yeah, it's quite a big uh, chin guard. So if I didn't shave that down, the camera was sitting out here, which is no use. Yeah. So I shaved that up so that the camera's sitting at a good angle so that it's pointing forward. This is a purple panda. Now, it gets really good reviews. And if you watch any sort of motor vlog setups, the vast majority of people will be rocking one of these. Uh, and that's, to be honest, that's why I bought one. Uh, it's a lavalier style mic, comes with this little velvet bag, which I'll be honest, I never really use because I never take it off the helmet. <laughs> and if you start motor vlogging yourself, then you probably find the same thing. Once it's taped on there, you kind of leave it there. But it comes with all these spare cables. There's a little chin guard, a little screen here, yeah. I'll pop that off and that just helps us to see this here. Yeah, I've got the cables up in here. With this little windsock, guys, leave it on. Yeah, now I know that wind socks can be a little bit tickly on the old face or whatever now depends on your helmet you might want to set it up around here somewhere the good thing about the nolan is there's quite a gap between the the, the chin guard and your face yeah so when you tuck this little wind sock in under these uh, straps it doesn't really cause a tickle or anything you know so it's not uncomfortable in that in that respect now when i've got this in here i don't have it facing up towards the wind and i don't have it facing down towards the wind. I just pop that right through there and it's just pointing left to right essentially. Yeah, the little mic sitting in there. I just check it periodically and make sure that it's still in place. It's easy enough to take this off. Yeah, and these little straps are just adjustable. So I'm going to take this off. Before I talk about the camera, I want to just talk about this. There's different types of mounts that you can get for adventure helmets you get for every helmet to be honest but because of the shape of an adventure helmet it can be hard to find something that's suitable 
Now, there's different things you can do. You can get this Pro Shop mount. That seems to be very popular. It's got like a Velcro thing. If you watch like your itchy boots, for example, she's got that thing strapped onto the front of her awry. Seems to be a really good solution. Uh, I also saw one that was specifically made for the Nolan. It's got this shape here. You know, a little thing that comes up for your camera. Um, but that was, I think it was in Indonesia. I saw it on Lazada. So, and it was only a few bucks. But they didn't do international um, shipping. So I contacted them and they were like, sure, we'll send it to you. $75. <laughs> you know? I was like, yeah, you're all right. For a tiny piece of plastic, I think I'll do something else. So what I want to do, guys, is I want to put a more sort of permanent solution on this. Maybe like a screw, a screw grid thing or something. But something with a more traditional sort of style of, you know, GoPro mount. Yeah, with a little extension on there. There's lots of different versions you can buy. Obviously, you know that. There's thousands of different things. So I'm going to essentially probably end up gluing something on there. So that takes us to the camera. I use a GoPro Hero 7 Black. Yeah. Now, I know that's almost old-fashioned now. <laughs> the GoPro Hero 7. You know, because the 10 just came out. But to be honest, it's good enough. Yeah. I think the 6 is probably good enough, the 5 is probably good enough, maybe the 4 is good enough, I don't know. Use whatever you've got is my advice to you. The 6 and the 7 have got inbuilt stability and I think that's quite important, especially if you're riding motorcycles and you're moving around a lot. Yeah, it really helps to even out or flatten out that footage. Um, I don't think it's a deal breaker. If you've got like a, a 4 or a 5, for example, then I think you can tidy that up in post-production, you know, if you're good at editing and stuff like that. Another benefit of something like a 7 is cost, you know, compared to like a GoPro 9 or a, a 10, it's going to be cheaper, obviously. The negative to your older GoPros is the inbuilt uh, sound quality. It's not good. And that's what kind of lets this down a little bit. Now, if you're using like a GoPro 7 and you want to use like a, a, a lavalier mic, like a, a Purple Panda or whatever, then you need to buy this extra little uh, mod here. Yeah, now you may see this, people have got them taped or strapped or glued to their helmets, this type of thing. I actually bought this Ulanzi case. Again, Amazon, eBay, whatever, I'll put links below. There's different versions of this as well. This one, it's a little plastic case and your GoPro sits inside, obviously, yeah. And it's got a little backing plate. And with this, this actually holds your little media mod. Yeah, you can pop that in there. It's really super neat. Yeah. Then once you you want to plug that in there, and that means that oh, I've turned it on. <laughs> that means then that you can put this little cable in from your Purple Panda. Yeah. And then you get really good sound quality. If you don't use this, guys, the sound quality on these GoPros is terrible. Yeah. You need to get these little. They're very large, actually. They're a bit too big, but that makes it quite a neat solution you know you can, you can you'll see people they, they tape them onto the helmet or they stick them inside or, or they do or they do all sorts of different things i think that whilst it's a little bit heavy on the front of the chin having this on there at least it's a, a one size fits all essentially i'm not a gopro expert but i think they're like your, your hero 8 and stuff like that you can buy this media mod that sits on there and it's got an inbuilt mic and all that and i think the, the sound quality is probably better on that but as I say I ain't an expert I've got this that's the setup I've got and it works I think it works well enough for me you know the sound quality certainly with the helmet on is much cleaner than, than, than I get you know vlogging out here in the wind for example so just for a bit of fun guys this is the vlogging setup I've got again it deserves its own full review but I've got a DJI gimbal here a Huawei P30 Pro and I have a Rode Video Micro here, this little microphone. Now, I trimmed down the windsock, which is a bit of a blunder. That's a bit of a mistake, because it's now picking up wind, which ordinarily it wouldn't have done, so I'm gonna to need to have to replace that. But again, not a full review, because these DJI gimbals are fabulous, but they deserve a complete review in their own right. Anyway, that's it for this one, folks. I really hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, Maybe even smash that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video to YouTube. If you want to watch another install or another vlog, 
have a look at one of these here. I'll see you in the next one.